When it comes to larger manufacturing sites, asbestos contamination isn't necessarily limited to the plant itself. Often there is collateral contamination. This can be the result of fibers that were blown from the plant, eventually settling on homes and in yards, mismanaged waste streams. And also, it was quite common for workers at these plants to take the material home with them. Asbestos waste from the site um, was uh, given to uh, some of the former employees to be used as insulation in their homes. Um, unfortunately, back um, in the 60s, people didn't know any better, so they took it and, and put it in between their walls and in their attic and, and used it as insulation. Now, we're going to be relocating the two residences where we found asbestos in their walls and in their ceiling. Um, those folks are going to be staying in town here. Um, the, uh, the contractor uh, that EPA has will be packing and uh, moving their items into a, a local storage uh, facility um, while they'll be doing the work. Soils from both the facilities and the adjacent communities can also show a significant percent of asbestos contamination. Again, this contamination can be the result of mismanagement or common practices and attitudes at the time. In the case of the Johns Manville site in Nashua, New Hampshire, waste from the manufacture of asbestos tabletops has been the focus of more than one cleanup effort. And this waste material was distributed th throughout the region here as, as a solid waste for, for filling backyards and so forth and created a lot of environmental health threats which we've addressed in the past. But the water was discharged into the Nashua River which is right to the right of us. When we took a survey out there and we, we identified uh, concentrations as high as 80% uh, of, of asbestos, chrysotile asbestos in the river and hopefully uh, at some point in time uh, we will return to address that. It's not unusual for a large-scale cleanup effort to require years of follow-up investigation or to expand into areas that aren't strictly limited to the mechanics of removing the contamination.